Hello there, kids. It is I, Stray Cat, the one and only, coming with another episode of No Man's Sky. Alrighty, when we left off, we were not here. We didn't have this guy in front of me. Uh, I was hunting down creatures, but then this guy landed with a pretty cool looking ship, the Skylark of the Stars. And it's within our price range. I can just buy it outright from him. Doesn't have a fully loaded hyperdrive. But it has pretty much everything I could want, including this launch system recharger here that just automatically recharges the launch thruster if I'm not using the ship. So, it's pretty good. It's a pretty good upgrade for me. And I won't even have to sell my current ship to get it yet. Key phrase. I might eventually get rid of the ship. Maybe. But not yet. I want to get everything off of it first. But that said, it's an option. It's an option that we have now. Might as well go for it. Especially since I can afford it. We'll just buy and add it to the collection. And he just disappears entirely. So now the ship is ours. It's all green and it's cool. I love it. Looks great. Looks fantastic. And it's ours now. So, win-win. But also, I had two creatures left I needed to hunt down, but I want to land this near where my old ship was. So that way, if I need to, and I probably will, I can swap stuff between the two of them. And look at that. Landed just next to it perfectly. Ugh, excuse me. Burpy a little bit. Um, let's get the radiant pillar uh, emptied out a little bit. Empty all of these things into my pockets. We'll leave this here. Alright. And with that, that gets everything that I want off of the ship taken care of. And I can just put it on my new ship. I didn't want to miss this opportunity. That's the main reason I started this episode when I did. And look at that. There's another version of my ship right there. <laughs> How about that? Alright. Okay. Um, I will move this technology here, I guess? Nah, you know what? That's not what I wanted. I want to move that here. Possibly. I keep hitting the wrong buttons, but it's fine. <laughs> Trust me, I know what I'm doing. Maybe. Uh this here actually there we go put this here and there we go transfer items like oh i don't know uh the platinum here transfer items like oh i don't know the gold here and actually you know what hmm no real good-looking way to make this work, other than doing that here. So do that there, do that there, and do that here. Perfect. And then we move some of the pyrite here. And we move the tritium here. There we go. And some of the radon here and the nanotubes here and we put this in there I guess that empties out the majority of my uh, inventory and in fact I'm going to put this back here where it belongs good good all right Yeah. 
That's good. I like this. Although I don't want to keep all of my tech here. It's probably not a good idea. So I'm going to move this tech here and move that over here. Good. Has a lot more going for it, this ship. It just doesn't have everything I want going yet. Um, that will be later. Uh, this ship, however, will have all of my upgrades that I'd already put into it, including stuff for the hyperdrive, uh, fully loaded uh, pulse engine, and all of this, which will eventually be broken down. But, I still have creatures to kill on this planet so we will not deal with that for a little while ow that hurt okay so back on the hunt again for those creatures that I was killing which shouldn't be too hard to find wasn't hard to find before I doubt it would be now cool and we'll walk towards this knowledge stone that's apparently over here while I'm at it. Because I don't see why not. Whee! Okay. And more of these damn things around me. Alright. They just intend on making my life difficult. But then again, that's what their point is. I learned the Viking word for butt. Not the good kind of butt, just butt. Okay, well. Hey, here's what it is. Can't learn everything I want. Alright. There does seem to be a cavern down here. And lo and behold more of these. I'd found some a little bit earlier, so uh, I had also sold them to the guy who I bought the ship from, which is probably what gave me enough credits to buy the ship in the first place. So, of course I'm collecting more of these. Why wouldn't I? These things are money. Basically hook, line, and sinker. For moi. That one mineral outcropping keeps appearing and disappearing. It's really weird. Walk over here. Well, I mean, it's not appearing anymore. But it was earlier. Okay. A whole bunch of stuff there. And more of the th good things I want down here. Doesn't look like it. Nope. more of those pearls. It's not down here. But I got some. Got some of the pearls and that's worthwhile. Oh, that was what it took to get in here. Alright. Well. Cool. Alright. And I'm out. Alright. Do need to recharge my life support, though. I am running low on oxygen. Holy crap, did you see that? I'm at 59 right now. Holy jeebus. I need to fix that and fix that soon. Uh, I need to focus maybe on collecting more oxygen than I do anything else now, don't I? I know there's some oxygen out of this thing here. So I might as well just break it down. Cool. Alright. Still hunting while also still attempting... 
to grab what I can to sell here. Oh! I got that, which I didn't want, but it's okay. Cactus flesh. Eh, I guess I could sell that. I think. Can't I? Cactus flesh. It's edible. Mm. Okay. Well, that is an option anyway. Plus, I can get more oxygen from these things, which is a more direct way to collect it, which is good. Oh, hey, how about that? Some damaged machinery. Cool. Oh, I got something I didn't necessarily need. Oh, well. It's fine. Actually, I should identify these plants before I keep stealing what's on them. There we go. Nervesoria. That's a name. Get that. Okay, well. Did that before it exploded. That's good. Oh, yeah. couple of them farther distances too there we go and booyah good it also gives me a shit ton of oxygen and carbon oh would you relax I was doing it from a so far a distance it can't see me. You're kidding. <laughs> ah! Oh, that's hilarious. Well, hey, if it works. Alright. I can't see any particularly valuable creatures near me. For my needs. Alright, let's break this down. Steal some of this while I'm at it. There we go. Cool. Alright, um... Valuable creatures, you are not one of them. I'm not finding a lot of those creatures that I used to find a lot of. That's annoying. Oh well. Guess I'll go back to where my ship is. Maybe I'll find one on the way. Who knows? Probably not, but I guess it's worth a shot. Well. Get this anyway. There we go. More oxygen for moi. Hey! Got some sodium over here. Ore is always good. Ow. Keep doing that to myself. Alright. Okay. Just want to make sure of my surroundings. Because you can never be too sure if a sentinel is going to come up and ruin my day or not. Never be too sure. Ah! Two buried mineral formations. That I can just take from right here. Okay. 
That worked out beautifully. Magno Gold. And Grantine. Easily recognizable by its bright red glow. Grantine. That's a new thing. Okay. Uh, thermal protection is getting pretty bad. There we go. Sodium's okay. It's not as bad as oxygen was for me. So now that I think about it, I did, I did see, I did see possibly more humming sacks. Does this, or does this just lead down to the ones I've already taken? I think this leads down to the ones I've already taken. Yeah, I think it does. Yep. Damn it. Duh, damn it, damn it. What are the Dimsdale Dimma Dam? Alright, well. It's worth a shot. Saw the icon, I figured oh, it might be worth it. It's not. The answer was no. Oh well. Well, on the way to the ship. Anyway. Whee! Ow. I should stop doing that. Uh, I'm not seeing any more of those valuable creatures either. Damn it. So I guess I'll just have to take whichever ones I come across. I guess that's really going to be the only way I can finish this particular thing. more of them be is the question. Interesting. Little underwater cavern here. Kind of curious to see what's underneath the stuff here. Sheer ferrite and pyrite. Well, I mean, if pyrite's on it, might as well get it. Hmm. Alrighty. Get some more of this. Cool. What is this anyway? I've got chlorine and what? Chlorine and dihydrogen. Interesting. But right now I do not have the time to gather that. I do not have a lot of water, rather, a lot of air left. Oh boy. Oh boy. I will probably be okay then. Ha ha ha. Ha ha. Ha that was too close. Ha ha ha. All right. Um, got some of those. Use one of them to get a little further away. And... There. Not as far as I was hoping. Plus, there's the fact that it didn't get me closer to any creatures I can just kill outright. Damn it. Uh, and I'm pretty sure this marker is already one I've explored, but it brought me to a creature. Whoop, and it brought me to the creature I wanted to kill. There we go. Got you. Oh, okay. And there we go. 
And we're done. Kind of. Reload. And that creature just gets to uh, run away. Having uh, been spared its fate. That it would have otherwise had to be uh, murdered for. Have I... Have I searched these ones before? No, I have not. All right. Okay. I can't necessarily get to that last one. Oh no. Son of a bitch. It pulled that on me. Oh, you shit. Oh, you shit. Fuck it. I'll destroy all of it. Fuck you! <laughs> I wanted that last one. Oh, well. I was probably going to destroy it regardless. Regardless of how well I did with it. Alright. Um... Has quite a lot of usable stuff. A lot of sellable stuff as well. Alright. But it is time for me to head back to my ship and drop off these huge number of items. that I have uh, accumulated for myself. Alright, and... And... Okay. I was hoping I could fly myself up to my ships, but that ain't gonna happen. <laughs> that ain't gonna happen anytime soon. So, I guess I'll just have to use the ladders then. Up I go. Okay. Climb the ladder. Cool. We will sell my stuff I've picked up. It's Magno Gold. Mordite. This proto sausage. These pearls. And this. And this. Cool. There we go. Beautiful. Yeah, yeah, I know. All right. And with that, I fly off into the great unknown. Kind of. I need to get off planet before I can drop off the missions. There we go. Wee. Head to there. There we are. Time to land inside the space station where I drop off the missions. Then I call it good. Beautiful. And up I go. There's also the chance I could upgrade my stuff here, so I'll take that opportunity after I'm done talking to the mission agent. 
Huh. This isn't the guy I should talk to. Alright, so other mission agent at the other system. That's what I need to talk to. In the meantime, I shall get my upgrades that I can purchase. Alright. And also, I'll drop off this with this starship for now. Actually, you know what? Pick them all up, too. Screw it. Why not? Um, move technology, or... This ship shall be the one that is scrapped. Salvage ships. Drones deployed to target starship. Available operations upgrade. Class and or storage or melt the ship into scrap. Scrap the ship. Starship Radiant Pillar BC-1 and all cargo will be destroyed. Yep, I already pulled out all the cargo I want from it. Immediately processed for scrap. Salvaged components will be added to customer exosuit automatically. Well! How about that? Once useful springs, thermal panels... Tank of coolant and a whole bunch of mar modules. Modules. Yeah, that's the word I wanted to use. Okay. And there is my current ship. My new current ship. Alright. Um, stall technology. I guess the rocket launcher is probably a good thing to add. Cool. All right. In that case, um, let's transfer an item that it won't really need anymore. Or I could just sell the item, since I won't need it anymore. Yeah. Yeah, no, that's fine. I'll just sell it. I'll just sell it entirely. Just outright. But first things first, upgrade my exosuit. There we go. Beautiful. Wow, did I just see that cost me 400,000? Is that what that did? Jesus. All right. Um, starship. Phase beam module. Okay. Starship shield module. Okay. Um. Phase beam. I don't have a phase beam. I do have the shield and... I don't know what the cyclotron is. I have no idea what that is. I guess I could sell it. Okay, well, I'll sell some of the things. Namely because I don't know what to do with the whole. Nano driver. Let's see what this is about. Oh, my goodness. A class with all the bells and whistles. I can't purchase it outright. Nor can I exchange my current multi-tool to be able to afford it. But that is a very high class rifle multi-tool. That is a very high class. I would never be able to afford that in my current state. <laughs> that is for sure. Well, hello! Didn't expect waving. Nor did I expect there to be a thing of glass between us when I came in. But here we are. 
Alright. Um, sell... Component is useful only as scrap. Well, I mean, at that at that point, might as well do that. Um, tank of coolant, useful only as scrap. All right, useful only as scrap. Okay. I can't sell. I can't sell those things. Can't sell those upgrades? Well, that sucks. I guess I can only destroy them since there's no use for it. Huh. Yeah, so this is yeah, not even close. <sighs> well, crap. Guess I gotta scrap the things that I can't use. Oh well. Let's move this back over here. Move this here. Move this back there. And move this back here. Okay. With that done. Um, the pie right there where it belongs. Uh, in actually install this in technology right next to the shield. There we go. And the high frequency lattice increases the shield strength. Okay. I'll take that. I will take that. I have no problem with that. Alright, let's make the antimatter. Let's make the antimatter housing. And then we can make the warp cell. To allow me to go back to where I need to go to finish this mission. I don't need that. Alright. To finish the mission that I went all this way for. Oh, this just looks so much cooler. It just looks so much cooler than my old ship. So much better. Uh, just making sure before I leave that I have everything I want. Honestly, I think I got everything I could want. So let's go. Sentinel activity. What we got over here in this undiscovered planet? It's a life incompatible planet with rusted metal, copper, and salt. Okay, well. So much for that. Is, there, is this. Yeah, that's the planet I just surveyed. Spinning myself and make myself do that. Alright, um... What about this one? Unknown planet that is ammonia, sodium, copper, and high sentinel activity. Zaki 12? That's Zaki 12. Okay. What about this planet right behind it? Aksha 7. Which has pyrite, copper, magnetized ferrite, and high sentinel activity. Well, if I needed pyrite, that would be an option. Galaxy map. We head back here to do that one mission. Yeah, pretty sure we head back here for that. Okay. A 
little shaky there for a second, but we're back. Yep. The stars like dust. I've warped fi five times. Emergency comms established. Okay. Nearby freighter under attack. Destroy pirates to save fleet. Okay, well, in that case... I could do that. I could help them. I don't see why I wouldn't. I'd probably be gifted with something if I do. Which, I mean, it's always a good idea. And gotcha. Where are they now? Well... Well, that's one of them that's destroyed. How about this one. Haha! <laughs> gotcha. Master pilot. I don't know about that one, but I mean, hey. Did I destroy both of them with one rocket barrage? That's amazing. Emergency comms. A Speak to the captain. Your assistance will be rewarded. Really? Okay. Starship communicator. The life form, who must be the captain of this freighter, looks greatly relieved. They gesture as if to welcome me aboard their vessel. Alert. Navigation data received. Cool. Which one's their freighter? I guess this must be their freighter. All right. Well, I'll speak to the captain, who I helped. Oh, Jesus! Okay. Kind of phased into the ship a little bit there. But it's fine. It's fine. It's all fine. It's the capital ship of their fleet. Okay. All right. Well, in that case, I will head directly to where I'm assuming where I need to go. Speak to the Admiral. Say yes, Koff. You're welcome. Hello. Admiral? How's it going? How's that? I don't understand at least two-thirds of what you just said. Without of Traveler Corvax. That's all I understood. Lights flicker rapidly across the life form's visor and their heads nods imperceptibly forwards. They seem to be showing me gratitude? They gesture towards the control panel of their freighter as if to suggest I take command. Wait, what? Wait, what? You're... Giving me your ship. Am I understanding this correctly? You're giving me your freighter. <laughs> I'm sorry. You're giving me the freighter that I just saved. Sure. I own a freighter. <laughs> Owning a freighter brings several benefits, including a portable base, a very large inventory, and the ability to command fleets of frigates. 
Frigates offer extra inventory storage. Additional starships can be docked in the freighter's hangar. Command expeditions from the bridge. Construct a base aboard the freighter. Uh, uh, learn about your fleet's current specialization. What? What? Um. Uh. <laughs> I am now beyond lost. <laughs> the role is a trade specialist. Um. <laughs> okay. I could dismiss the frigate. I don't want to. Um, okay. Speak with the freighter's navigator. Uh, you, I guess. Plan and dispatch expeditions. Corvax is pleased to calculate routes for the traveler captain, but fleet, but the fleet requires a fleet command room before it can depart. Prepared an expedition for my fleet, but my freighter lacks a fleet command room. I need to maintain communications during the voyage. Ah, uh, build a base inside your freighter. Construction area is located between the hangar and the bridge. Access the build menu with up. Um, So confused. I'm so confused. I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing. Oh my goodness. Just put it anywhere. Just put it anywhere I want, really. Okay. <laughs> okay. Fleet command station. Calibrating command post to new master signature. <laughs> Master profile indicates one support frigate available. Profile indicates no frigate fuel blueprints available. Download? Yeah! <laughs> now I have frigate fuel. I've learned how to make it. Okay. And all it costs is a whole bunch of dihydrogen and tritium. Well... How about that? <laughs> okay, then. This is not how I expected this to go. <laughs> not that I'm complaining. Let's get one thing clear. I am not complaining. Uh, <laughs> I just didn't expect this to go this way. <laughs> oh, wow. Okay. Um, And I already have a whole bunch of free <laughs> fuel already made now. Okay. All right. Um, well, I'm... Uh, I'm going to sit here and freak out for a second. <laughs> I'm going to put this over here. Put these here. I, uh... <laughs> I, um... I, uh... don't know what to say. <laughs> 
I don't know what to say. Except just wow. Wowzers. Um... <laughs> uh, you know what? I might need that on my person after all. At least on my ship. But not much more than that. We're going to need that too. But not too heavily. <laughs> can't install technology because I don't have the technology to do that with. Um, I'm going to put that on my freighter for reasons. Um, <laughs> I'm, uh, I'm a little broken, as you can tell. <laughs> but... Alright. Uh, now I can go back to the other guy. And tell him, hey, you're good to go now, navigator. <laughs> All right. Uh, traveler entity Corvax is pleased to report exciting navigational research. Corvax has plotted new expeditions for your fleet. Okay, let's look into that. All right. My support frigate is kind of fine-tuned for trade. So let's do trade. Um, and hoping for valuable exchanges. It's a distance of a thousand light years, basically, exactly. And we'll assign the merchant vessel. And equip... Explosive drones, mineral compressor, holographic analyzer, mind control device. Ah. Uh, fuel required 50 tons. I have that. Um. And it'll go for at least an hour. Let's launch it. Let's launch it, and we do. Speak with the fleet commander. I make contact at the fleet command room. Okay. Time to go to my fleet command room over here. Manage the expedition. Fleet command online. Calibrating the fleet commander Znez, Znez of the CV-5 Azaki. Speak to the commander. Greetings, traveler entity. The expedition has covered 200 light years, and our estimate, our plotted route will take a further... Oh, it gives me an active counter. All systems nominal. And I can inspect them. The fleet rating is two stars. Which also matches the difficulty rating. Focus is trade. The role for our ship is trade. So it might end up being okay. Monitor progress at the fleet command room. What was that? Uh, what was that other thing it said? Uh, wait for the expedition to complete 
Expeditions continue in real time and do not require their owner to be actively present, so I can do the shit while I'm offline. <laughs> Alright, um... Return to the mission agent. I guess that's the thing I need to do next. Okay, I, um, I, uh, I, uh, I am broken. I am the borked. I am the breakeded. So... I, uh... I, uh... I think... Okay. Okay then. Alright. Alright. Okay. Okay. Alright. I'm going to end the episode. And think about everything that just happened. And try not to freak out phrase try because I can't guarantee that I'm going to be able to calm down. <laughs> I really can't say I might because I'd be lying. <laughs> so, thank you all so much for watching. Click the subscribe button if you like these videos and you want to see more. Click the like button if you like this particular video. And share and comment so we can bring more people into this community. We can talk about the games we're playing together. And I will see y'all in the next episode. This has been the one the only Stray Cat. Playing games. And running my own frigate now. And a new ship. And all of the good stuff. And eventually we'll just... Uh, we'll just get all the other missions completed. Uh, but for right now, I have to figure out how the fleet thing works. Uh, and try not to cry just because of how lucky I am. Oh, this is cool. This is so fucking cool. Alright. Uh, I will... I will collect myself for the next time we do this. Hopefully. For you. <laughs> I thought the only major move I would make this episode would be a fucking ship. But here I am with the ship in the frigate that I now own. <laughs> oh, this is beautiful. <laughs>